I don't know about anybody else, but I don't think there have been too many positives when it comes to lockdown. But oh my goodness me, one huge, great, big, massive positive has been that since March, I have not even had to think about the hell which is school uniform and school uniform that fits and school uniform which is washed and ready for my children to wear. It's been a delight because, and maybe it's just my kids that have been running feral, they've basically lived in their pants since school was announced as being closed in March. They have very, very occasionally graduated from pants to maybe a dressing gown, but actual clothes, my, my washing pile is, is practically non-existent. Those Sunday night sessions in front of the washing machine at sort of 11 o'clock at night when they suddenly realised that when they said their washing had gone into, into the dirty washing basket, what they actually meant was they dropped it where they stood in their bedrooms and kicked it under the bed to sit there in some huge, stinking, festering heap. But we haven't had any of that since March, and, th and that's been lovely, but with September rolling around scarily quickly and the return of school on the horizon, it hit me this week that really probably I probably needed to address and assess the, the school uniform situation. It is going to be a shock to my kids that they can't just get up in the morning and put on a pair of pants. So this week uh, I sat there working one afternoon and, and I, because, I, because I'm an eternal optimist and, and I genuinely think when I, when I make these suggestions that, that somehow things will work out okay and that it will be a good plan. Uh, and it, I, I'm almost always, always wrong on this. So I sent them together to go and assess what uniform they had from the previous term. And, and obviously the initial response was they both came downstairs and, and they said that they had nothing, which I knew wasn't true because I'd spent several hundred pounds last term on uniform, so how could there be no uniform left? So we sent them back to try again and I sent them to make a list and eventually they came back down. And I don't exaggerate when I say the list was about three sides of A4 long and I, and I thought, well, well, how can this be? You know, you, you have uniform children and, you know, Beth, if you've grown out of your uniform, then you have Jamie's uniform that you can then, then move into. By transpires, I have just fed them too much in lockdown because they have got massive. They're huge. They've grown out of pretty much every single item that they get. And I don't know about anybody else, but when I buy school uniform, I, I am buying school uniform for the long haul. This is school uniform to last you till you're 90. You know, there's none of this kind of, let's, you know, you're, you're age nine, we'll buy you age nine uniform. No, 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 this is, uh, you're age nine. So I will buy you a school dress in age 15 to 16 and you will grow into it. Because that's a rite of passage, isn't it, right? We all we all spent the, that time uh, at school wandering around with a with a school dress that, that trailed behind us on the floor, surely? No, just me. So we got the list together. Chaos clearly ensued. I don't know if you've ever seen the aftermath of a, of a sort of a, a, a clothing factory um, when perhaps the, the, the roof's blown off and the clothes have, have, have blown up and down, up and down the road. That is literally what my entire house looks like. I, I don't know about you. I go to get a, an item of clothing out of my drawer and I go through the stuff in the drawer and I find the item of clothing that I need and then I put the other stuff back and I shut the drawer. With my children, it's like clothes everywhere, all over the house, literally knee deep. Beth was like wading through her bedroom carpet through clothes. And I was like, Can we maybe put those clothes away. Uh, she looked at me like I was an idiot. I went, why? And I said, well, so that the bedroom will be tidy. And she looked baffled and said, but I'll need them at some point, which I suppose is, is strictly speaking, is, is probably true. Anyway, so we had our list. We had our list of school uniform that they needed. And at that point, I, every year, I leave buying school uniform too late. I'm sure I'm not the only one who does this. I, I leave it till the last minute and then I go to the shop or I go online and the items of clothing that I want are, are, are out of stock. And I end up being that person on, on the school Facebook group who's posting usually about 5pm the night before the kids get back to school going, don't suppose anybody's got a school dress in, a, in, an, in an age eight because um, they're out of stock at John Lewis, which they would be, what with it being 24 hours before the school goes back. Now, if I could offer one piece of advice to those of you who are yet to have children and yet to go through the, um, the horrendous process, which is choosing schools for them, my advice would be, you might think that you are prioritising the school that will give your children the best level of pastoral care, or the school who will help your children aged five and a half to, you know, become the future barristers and doctors of, of the next generation. 
And I will tell you now that those priorities are, are wrong. And if I had my time again, I would have selected my children's school very differently. It's a lovely school. They go to an absolutely wonderful, lovely, lovely, lovely school. It's a state school. It's just around the corner from us. It's absolutely lovely. And I made a terrible error when I picked it because it's one of those schools where you can't just go and buy the school uniform from Tesco's or other supermarket of choice, other supermarkets are available. No, you have to go to a special school uniform, school uniform shop. And I don't know whether any of you are familiar with the M25. Typically trying to get around the M25, you end up in a tailback, which is several miles long, pretty much guaranteed whatever time of the day you choose to, to attempt to navigate it. Well, that M25 typical tailback is roughly the length of the queue that forms at the school uniform shop any time from June onwards, I would say. Uh, it trails round, round the, round the shopping centre. And it's not so much as kind of like a, a quick one stop to pick up the uniform. You are effectively committing to a day. I, I have previously briefly thought maybe should I go down the down the Wimbledon route and actually take my tent and my sandwiches and, and camp out the night before. I love that I've just pretended to you all that I have a tent. If any of you have ever heard me talk about my, my views on camping, you will know that I definitely do not have a, a tent in my armoury of possessions. But that's another story for another time. But anyway, so the queues are massive, right? But it's okay because this particular shop you can get the uniform delivered online which is a wonderful wonderful thing so I thought to myself well this year I've planned it early enough we're only what middle of August I can get the uniform online ordered from the special shop and yes I'll probably have to remortgage the house to, to buy it but that's fine all is well and then I went on to the website and I selected my children's schools and 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 real tears fell from my eyes when I realised that I had missed the date for online ordering for guaranteed delivery by the start of term by 24 hours, 24 hours. It was a very sad time, but fine. OK, once more onto the breach, dear friends, I knew what knew I had to do. So I gathered up the children. And I said, right, we are going to go and buy buy uniform. And they looked appalled with this in an actual shop, leaving the actual house. And I said, yes, yes, we, we, we will go to the to the actual shop. So they, they very reluctantly put on some clothes. <laughs> Jamie actually, you know, questioned whether he could go wearing his dressing gown. We decided we would veto that. Put on our masks, masked up to go to the uniform shop. And, and I completely understand that lots of people struggle to wear masks, uh, don't like wearing masks. And that, in fact, young children aren't required to wear masks. My kids fucking love a mask. I think they think that they're both some kind of superheroes. So they, they masked up. And we duly went off to the to the uniform shop, which, true to form, had a queue snaking out of it around the shopping centre, roughly the length of the M25. But that was fine. That was fine. I, I was very zen at this point. Very zen. We had our list. We'd remembered to bring the list. I had the children, so that was good. They knew which schools they went to, so we, we were in good shape. We queued for a while and eventually we got into the shop and the loveliest lady, if you're the lady who served us in our school uniform shop, A, thank you so much, you were so wonderful, and B, you really do have the, the patience of the saints. So we went in and I, I apologised in advance and I said, I'm, I'm sorry, we've got this huge, great big long list. She looked totally unfazed, she's used to people inept like me, no doubt. And so she asked the schools and I told her, I said, right, well, we'll do Jamie's, <laughs> Jamie's school first. And she said to me, what size is he? Well, it hadn't even occurred to me to think about things like sizes. I kind of thought, well, I'm taking the children with me. Of course, with COVID, quite rightly, you can't try on the uniform. And she said, what size? And I know that secondary school, it's no longer simple. It's no longer the age of the child. There's all kinds of complex measurements and all sorts. So I, 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 just, I, I just sort of looked at her and I looked at the Jamie and she said, what size is he? And I said, well, he's massive. So that was really helpful. What size is your child? He is massive. So she was lovely, she gathered up all the bits, she was incredibly patient with us. Like I say, you can't touch or hold the uniform again entirely understandably, so we did some kind of dramatic contemporary dance routine where she held out the trousers towards Jamie and Jamie kind of sashayed towards them and yeah, hopefully they look about right and they probably will fit. So we went through the list, we did that for Jamie, we did that for Beth. By this time I've lost roughly two weeks of my life, feels like, to school uniform purchasing, but it's fine, we get it all. And we go to the till, she tells me how much it is. I, I do that thing, which I'm sure I'm not the only person to do, where you paste on that lovely bright smile of, fine, fantastic, thank you very much. Whilst inside your inner voice is going, how much? How much? How much? I, I will never feel guilty on what I spend on clothes for myself ever again. 
We paid for the uniform. That's a lot of money, said Beth. No shit, Sherlock. And we got the uniform and we got home. And and then I realised, of course, the, the, the true error of my ways because I had trusted my children when it came to the uniform that they already had. I trusted them that they would tell the truth and they would write the things that they were missing on the list. Well, it turned out that they were they were mostly selective about what they picked. So we arrived home. Oh yeah, said Beth. I think I need this as well. Now? Now you're telling me? Now you're telling me you need this? And then Jamie went to try on his uniform, because again, of course, understandably, you can't try it on in the shop, and came out with what I can only describe as a, 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 it was supposed to be a rugby top. It looked like some kind of cropped garment that you might have worn out clubbing in the in the early 1980s. One imagines if one had been clubbing in the, in the early 1980s. I think it's a bit small, he said, looking as though he was struggling to, to, to breathe inside of it. You think so, son, do you? I said. So not only have I, I lost what felt like two weeks of my life to the school uniform shop, we now have to go back to the school uniform shop again this week coming to go and buy all the stuff that we didn't get the first time around and replace the, the, the small items for some suitably more massive items. And, and to be honest, at the rate my children are growing, by the time they start school in two weeks' time or whenever it is, they will probably have grown out of the uniform that I have just bought them. I mean, it's, it's such a deeply flawed process, right? These kids, they keep getting bigger and you spend a fortune on uniform and then you get the next week. I mean, Jamie with shirts. Oh my God, I swear. I can buy him a shirt and I can put him in, put him in the shirt and he's like, yeah, it fits, fine. And then two weeks later, it'll come out and the, the ends of the sleeves have shrunk to like elbow length. And yeah, it's flapping somewhere around his belly button. So yeah, it's a flawed process. There's probably a business model in that, isn't there? Which is school uniform with kind of like velcroed up hems and each week of the term you just let down the velcro hem by half an inch or so i may market that so yeah we got the school uniform and 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 genuinely i i was thinking to myself oh come on you're making you're making a bit of a fuss about this i felt broken i had to go and lie down i was like you're right i said i'm broken you've broken me and then she went to me don't forget we need to get school shoes mummy School shoes, school shoes, of course, of course you need school shoes, of course. It's not enough that I've just spent all of the money in the known universe on uniform that you're going to grow out of in a week. Now we must buy school shoes and trainers and plimsolls. And then someone mentioned stationery, stationery and coats. Although actually Jamie's banned from having a coat on the basis that I bought him a coat when he started secondary school last year. And I was like, here you go, son. It's a really nice coat. It will keep you warm and safe and dry as you walk to and from the bus stop. Jamie took his coat to school and his coat never came back. And every evening when he came back, I said to him, where's, where's your coat, Jamie? Have you lost it? Because, you know, open dialogue, if you've lost it, that's fine, we can talk about that. No, he said, it's in my locker. Why is it in your locker? I said, as he came back one night, literally absolutely drenched because it was pissing it down. Why is it in your locker? He said, it's so that it keeps safe. I was like, hmm, would it not be more useful on you to keep you dry? I don't want to lose it, he said to me. I'd obviously drummed it into him, don't lose the bloody coat. So, yeah, I spent whatever I spent on a coat for Jamie, and it spent the entire of the academic year in his locker. A good purchase, worthwhile. So, with all of that, what have I concluded? If you haven't done school uniform buying yet, I mean, honestly, don't, don't, don't bother. Or, or, or buy, bribe, pay somebody else to, to do it for you. It's, it's horrendous. Every, every year I think, oh, it can't be bad as bad as I'm making out. And, it, and it's not. It's worse. It's genuinely worse. And I think that possibly retail outlets and establishments are missing a trick because obviously you get all of the all of the big back to back to school displays and you know sort of your your multi buys so buy two two packets of shirt have a third one your child won't fit into any of them by the end of the week but hey have three instead of two uh they do all these kind of like linked linked purchases and i just think that there's a there's a very salient missing ingredient from the whole back to school displays which is gin and absolute metric truckload of gin is definitely the error I made when I set out to do back to school shopping this year and all I can say is that it is a good job that the schools are opening soon because after that uniform shopping experience I frankly feel like I need to go to a darkened room and and sleep for about 30 years in order to recover from it horrendous absolutely horrendous so if you have any top tips or tricks for uniform buying feel free to tell me i can make no use of them all i'm 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 done with my uniform buying except of course i'm not done i'm never done you're never done with uniform buying and thus i shall be back to the school uniform shop this week and probably every week after that to come 
if you're in the process of getting you and your family ready to go back to school, then all I can say is, is I feel your pain and I hope truly that you have plenty of gin.